Hello YouTube, I'm sorry if this is a little Hello. Hi. Ghost signal required. Oh yeah, there's some ghosts here. Uh, these noises. They're not they're not harmful. Signal for lost. And uh, I have found that there is one certain ghost. His name is apparently Jesse. From what my connection is. And he is not harmful. He is nine years old. And if Jesse can heal, that would be awesome. I don't know if he's here or not. This right here. It shows you real ghosts. I have no horrible bad ghosts here. Like, I've used other apps, and some of them are saying that they're protective and healing and helpful, and they care about us, and it may or may not have been something we knew. So, I don't really know just now. My sister. So there is a ghost here. And we got a ghost reading. So he's standing still right now. But there are a few more ghosts here. They're all friendly. They're not ghost signal required. I found a 40 year old ghost here that was not. He was a friendly spirit. He was like 40 years old. Or so. so I might have to go upstairs to show you what's going on. But yeah, there was a ghost on the radar. And I kind of wanted to show you guys. So I'm using the signal a bit. I got my dog in the background. He's barking his head off. Okay, so we have a ghost back here again. I remember her. Iran's soul. That's right. She hangs out back here. I don't know who she is. Completely. Iran's soul. She hangs out in the back room of my house. I don't know why. She just likes it back here. She's comfortable. lost. Signal loss. She's on the radar. So, ghost signal required. I don't know if you guys can see her, but there is readings and stuff. Just signal lost. I am perfectly fine. These ghosts do not harm us. They are actually active. I have heard over some of these apps. And here's the Arat Soul Ghost. Uh, for some reason, Jesse likes to hang around in my room. So. And Frankie is in the Signal lost. Whoever that is. Entities in here, but they are not dangerous. They are friendly. Ghost signal required. Let me see if I can find Frankie. Because Frankie lives. Oh, it's the rat soul. The rat soul was in the basement the other day. So. Stuff they say, lost. but unfortunately, I can't translate what they say right now. Uh, I have heard a few of them say my name. I have made out what they said a few times, signal required. but it's hard. So I'm getting really close to a reading. 
of the ghost nearby me. I'm the center of this little circle here. So if I can find this ghost, I'm going to make a contact with it. But, uh, just in time. So we're going to come in here. We have the cats in here. You can hear them in the background. So I'm losing and shaking and I'm getting away. So apparently this girl is going to be a signal required. Oh, uh, I think I found it. Saw Frankie. Uh, there is one more ghost. Let's do it here. Ghost signal required. Frankie, is that you? Oh, that's the ghost signal required. Whoa. I don't know who that is. Okay. I don't know why. I think this is a part of like some sort of family that we here before because. Back before we got this house, there it is. There was a, a little thing in this house. Like, this house was also all broken down and stuff. So, we fixed it up. And it was like from the past, so there was raccoons in the doors, in the closets and stuff. But, uh, yeah. This ghost, I think, is Frankie? I'm not sure. But it seems to be hanging out in the closet. So, I think that's Frankie in there. I'm not sure. It's kind of unknown sometimes. But, uh, I, I met Jesse downstairs. He's a little shy, I think. Ghost signal required. Signal lost. Okay, so. Uh, shoot. That one's far over there. That one's all the way over there. Ghost cool. signal required. Oh, it's oh, it's close. It is close. Okay, uh, if you want, you can show yourself, whoever you are. But just so you guys know, I'm completely safe. These aren't demons. These are actual. Uh, friendly spirits, actually. There was a reading earlier, an EMP reading, of a healing and protective spirit here earlier. Signal lost. And it said it might be someone we know or knew. So I have no clue if that's my great grandma or Kelly Strong. Ghost signal acquired. Because uh, Kelly Strong was one of my sister's friends, or not Kelly Strong, but was some. Kelly was one of my sister's friends. She died of cancer, and I don't know if she's here with us right now, protecting us. But I believe that my theory here is that all these ghosts that are here, because that uh, there was like a mother that popped up in here. All these ghosts might be. Like a part of a little family, I believe, that lived in this house before us until we turned it into modern day kind of house and fixed it up. But I'm told by information that a ghost actually sits in one of the white chairs 
So if we can get him on a reading, that would be really cool. Uh, she says it's a guy in like a tux or something. So I don't know if he will pop up and show himself. He, you can't see the tux and stuff. You can't see all that. But he is sometimes shown to be in a chair. As you can see, it's like pointing to chair, pointing that way. Could be right next to me right now, or behind me, and I don't know it. I am completely confused of where it could be. But I am told that it sits in some of these white chairs up here. So, Jess, I'm Ghost sorry signal acquired. if I scared you earlier. Don't worry, I'm perfectly fine. These are friendly people, and some of these are actually relatives of ours, I believe, or friends of ours that have died over the years, and that are watching over us for some reason, which I think is pretty cool, because I put that on a different radar and stuff. So, let's go back here and find this rat soul, because this rat soul loves to hang out in the back of this place. Uh... I found... We can actually... Another thing we know is that we can actually find uh, a few ghosts. Like, one ghost is a nine-year-old kid named Jesse. And I already told Jess about that. Jessica Pedley. And she knows that uh, Jesse walks around the house goes wherever he wants, he plays with his little toy train. Ghost signal required. Oh, here's the, uh, here's a ghost. I have no idea who this is, but there was an, a nine-year-old ghost, or spirit that I had seen. It's saying my name, guys. Uh, it's saying my real name. If you guys can make it out, uh, Firestorm, if you're watching this, you already know what my name Signal is, but lost. saying my real name is really creepy. And you can hear these d little ghosts around here. They know my name. They know who I am. It it's getting creepy Signal sometimes, but it I think it's nice to have a little bit of protection around here. To have a, a few, like, guardians watching over us. Some of these guys are actually real. And some of these might be just a fake. Uh, this is not fake at all. I'm not kidding. Uh, my sister, over the years, has had visions and has communicated with some of these ghosts. So far, she has communicated with Frankie, a guy in some sort of white and black tux or something. Or t-shirt, I don't know. He sits in the chairs in the living room, and a little boy named Jesse. So I believe this is like a fracture of the family and all these other spirits that I've been spotting around here are actually uh, parts of the family. So I'm going to see if I can use this. Sorry about this, there's ads and stuff. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if I can actually use this because ask a yes or no question and wait for the answer and signal to be analyzed. Answers with accuracy below 50-50% are not reliable. Okay, uh, so here's the thing. In order to get answers, you have to buy it for $2.37. So maybe we can find a ghost. But right now there is none, and I can't ask a question. So let's go back. Ghost signal acquired. Oh, here is a friendly spirit. I have no idea where it went. There is a friendly spirit. Hello. I see you're age 71, and that you will not harm me. And I will do the same for you. I will not harm you. Uh, I can see you're a little shy. You're a little camera shy. Guys, I believe that might be the father of Jesse. 
because uh, that actually looks like a human with legs and a head. And Jesse, I found downstairs, he looked like a little human with Ghost legs. Signal acquired. If you guys didn't see it a little bit, I don't know what to tell you. But uh, Jesse, I found him downstairs in the basement. And he actually was like a little human with legs. He was pretty nice. He acted friendly. And some of these ghosts have realized our names. And I don't even know who we are. Like the Iraq, Arant, Soul, or whatever you say. It knows my name. Jesse doesn't know my name because he hasn't said it. But you can actually hear these guys like trying to communicate through this and trying to talk Ghost with me. Signal acquired. I think this might be the friendly spirit again. I'm not sure. I'm gonna pause the video here and I'm gonna try and see if I can get a different thing and show you. So I'm gonna pause this. Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry about the wait. Uh, I have another ghost detector here. Me, right here, is that little person. And this actually will. There are notes here. Red ghost, read about it. Yellow ghost, green ghost, blue ghost, clear ghost, dark ghost. So I believe the clear ghosts and stuff are friendly and stuff. So I'm going to read up about these guys. Red is associated with protection. Might be a guardian that was assigned to protect something. Okay. Hi guys, we have a 3D spinner for your phone. You can control it Sorry, but by yeah, moving the icon. Uh, yellow ghost. Might be a war Yellow is associated with, ca with caution. Might be a warning that's something that you need to pay attention. Okay. Green is associated with nature. In some cases, might be associated with a human spirit. Okay. Purple is associated with information. Might inform you about important things related to you. Blue ghost. Blue is associated with guidance. Might be a guide, spirit, or a very calming energy. Clear ghost. Clear is associated with con communication. This means that a spirit wants to communicate with you or show you something. Dark is associated with heavy energy. This is associated with lower vibration and heavy energy. Sometimes this can indicate the presence of an angry or negative spirit. Alright guys. Hopefully we don't get any of those. So we're going to search right now and scan the area. And I know I don't have any dark ghosts in the area. Or I believe I don't. There are no detections for now. So we're just going to let it scan and scan over and over in the area that I am in. And it'll eventually show a ghost in the area. So we're going to let it scan, and if there's a ghost that shows up, I'll let you guys know. Till then, I'm going to pause the video. So, uh, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm back. A purple ghost came in, and it's supposed to be information. This is Purple isn't associated with information. Might inform you about some important things related to you. So, this purple ghost is trying to inform me of stuff and I believe that is either Jesse or Frankie because that's all the way back in the the sound room so I'm not sure guys but there is a detection and that is a ghost right there there is a spirit in my house it is not a horrible spirit it is a nice and form information spirit so let's see if we can go in here and find a spirit because I was sitting on the couch earlier and a spirit came next to me so I'm not sure but we apparently came closer to where that spirit is located 
And I believe that spirit is located in the sound room section. So, yeah. These ghosts are a little creepy, guys. I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna see if I can get a better app. Let me communicate with them. So, uh, yeah. Till then, bye. Alright, guys, I'm here again. And I think I found something that allowed me to communicate with some of these ghosts. Uh, I don't know if it works or not, but let's hope it does. I need to know... So there's like an information ghost here. So I'm, I'm going to see what they're trying to say to me. They're trying to whisper stuff to me. So let's see if we can get this app working. Alright. So it's scanning right now, waiting for words. Okay, that's a little weird. My dog's acting crazy. Or tired in the laundry room but that's basically almost every normal day for him currently scanning please wait go away we're gonna scare him off oh it's a stupid ad now sorry about this guys I'm gonna have to freaking do this Du, du, du. Apparently, I gotta throw this crud. No, get out of here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Right now, I'm waiting for words and scanning the area. Um, I don't know if it's gonna hear me or not. Uh,. Instructions best you with in low volume areas with no electronics, no running, especially the larger televisions or radios for best results. Perform longer scans. Okay, so I'm going to made. So there's a word it's saying made. Last detected word made. So we're going to read what these ghosts are saying. Tilly. Made Tilly. Madely. Oh, Madely. Another wire. Is your name Madely? Spirit, yes or no, is your name Madly? Last word detected. Okay, uh, scanning for more words. I'm going to pause this video, guys. I'm going to see if I can understand what they say. And if I understand what they say, I'll explain what they say. Okay, guys? So I'm going to pause the video here. And, yeah, when I hear another thing they say and when they say stuff, I'll let you know. Until then, paused. Alright guys, I'm sorry about this. I gotta go. My battery's gonna die soon. These apps are taking up a lot of stuff. So, uh, I gotta go. But, it said something about me. Like, it was describing me as a person. It said person. Like, it noticed it was me. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna end this video here. I want you guys to know I'm safe. Perfectly fine.
Anyway, thank you all for watching. This has been a cool experience. Person won't. Alright guys, I'll see you later. Bye.